next. Next. Now before I start my performance, I want to read a very inspirational letter I got today from a fan. Seriously? Dear Frank, that's me. You are so awesome. You're the total package. <coughs> Full. I mean, look at you. You got the look. The smile, the charisma, and the talent that nobody can match. Sure. Oh boy. Oh, oh come on. Get out of there already. To be or not to be, that is the question. Am I, am I too late for audition? Yes, you're late, but it's okay. You still have time. Just be quiet when you're going in there, because other people might be auditioning. Okay, thanks. Next. Who, me? something you want to present, uh, doesn't matter. Yeah. Just do it. I brought uh, a letter. Dear Madison, I feel I must finally say goodbye. I think I nailed the part, but despite being late for the audition, it was, a, it was the best Thursday ever. That's great. Although you do seem to be getting a lot of parts recently. For minor roles, this is this is, this is a big step up for me, and the, the, this one you carries yourself. Yeah, it's it's really good. What's up with you? Uh, I just got a lot on my mind right now. I'll see you later. Okay. Uh, hello? Madison? Oh? Whoa! Madison, slow down. What what happened? What Matt what? It that that can't be. It's it's not that that's that's not true. 
Randy. Hey, Bunny, what's up? Listen, I I got this crazy call from Madison. I thought you were done with her. Tell it to someone who cares. She she thinks I've been leaving her, I've been leaving her stalker notes. I and um and I don't know what to do. And and this is crazy, right? I mean, what what can what can I do? Look, unfortunately, you called me at a bad time, and my bus is here. I gotta go. All right, bye. Bye. She's over you! So I've been getting all these creepy calls from Madison. She thinks I've been leaving her stalking her. And her boyfriend, Martin, thinks I did it. Well, did you? No, of course not. Are you sure? Yes! I'm just saying sometimes we do things when we are overly emotional without realizing it. I think you're obsessed with it. Look, it was on Thursday. I went to the audition and it came straight home. That was it. Did anything happen before or after the audition? I, I don't know. I did my monologue and I bumped into this guy that that always wants my parts. Listen, unless someone knows the ins and outs of your relationship with Madison, I don't think I can believe your story. It's just too cool and fun. It's just too cool and fun. You have to know what I mean. So the audition. You dropped it in her mailbox. Please tell me you didn't do that, Brandon. Please tell me I'm wrong. Look, I have the note right here. I, I, I had the note on me. It's not here. Sure you did. Sure you did. I'll, I'll prove it to you. Okay. I'll go, I'll go back to the, to the audition. I 
Did you remember I was here about a week ago? Of course I remember you nearly knocked into me and the other guy that was here. Right, listen. I think I dropped a letter. Can I find it? Well, we don't have a lost and found. And for a letter, I doubt you'll have much luck. Can I look through your trash? You can, but it was taken out on Monday, so I doubt you'll have any luck. Crap. I'm in a serious bind. I have, I have to find it. Can I just look around? Sure, go ahead. I mean, you seem to be getting all these parts all the time. What's your secret? No secret, just, um, I don't know, everything. Just everything. Mind, body, soul, man. Huh? I never, no, I never thought Vernon was that crazy, Nelly. I don't know what to think anymore. I just want you to be safe. He won't live with me forever, you'll see. I wanted to meet with you too. Vernon's coming, I gotta, Vernon's coming, I gotta go. I'll call, I'll talk, I'll call you, I'll call you back later, sweetie. I have a plan, but I'm gonna need your help. Here we go. I have to clear my name. We're going on a stakeout. Brandon, I'm telling, I'm telling you, if you go anywhere near Madison's place, everyone will think you're guilty, including me. No, I got a plan. L -l -l Listen. All right. We're just gonna take photos of the guy who's been around our place. But I need you there. I need, I need, a, I need a witness. What about the supposed restraining order? There's no restraining order. I'm not, I'm not really gonna be like near her anyway. And her boyfriend seems like a high anyway. So, you know. Do you hear yourself, Brandon? You're insane. You have to help Madison because she's not my girlfriend anymore, but I still feel for her. Okay. I'm so bored. How do you know this guy will even come? I told you, Madison's boyfriend says she sees a guy coming every night around 6.30. He saw a guy look suspicious. This is going to take forever. I'm hungry. Are you? Food is the last thing on my mind. If we don't stick together, maybe somebody might think the photos are fake. We, we have to take our own. Then what? Use the photo to report him? Yeah, maybe. I don't know. Just, just help me, okay? Okay, I got in the box. It might be harder to put a clip with it something though, but nobody thinks clips can be creeps. No matter what a disability someone has, they can't be going around doing stuff like that. Madison's boyfriend clearly thinks I, I did it and and I, I have to I gotta fix it. If I if I don't fix it, everything everything will be over. My life over. Everything ruined. I'll I'll be I'll be in prison. I I, I, I can't do that. My acting career will be over. You're right, you're right. You're agreeable tonight. Yeah, well, I have other things to think about. Like what? I got plans. Got plans? For what? Yeah, I'm planning to ask you to marry me. That's awesome! I knew you guys get together. Um, that's why you've been acting so weird lately. Yeah, I got the one the other day, but I haven't officially asked her yet. What? Why not? You're suddenly shy? You always say what's on your mind. Why would it be different with Nelly? It just is. I mean, what if she said no? Have doubts about me. I think she knows she loves you, dude. It's obvious. I think, don't overthink it, because when I overthink it, I get really spastic. And why didn't you tell me sooner, man? I would have to think about telling you, because, well, she would finally, she would finally move it in with me, and... You're kicking me out? 
I'm sorry, Brandon. I don't want to force you out, but it's just that Nelly and I need our space. Nah, I'm just messing with you. So, you don't mind? Nah, I'm happy for you guys. Thanks, Brandon. I promise when this mess is all over, I'll get, I'll find a new apartment and my, my life will be right. I need you to understand. Shh. I thought so. Busted dirt bag. Who is he? He's another actor from my audition. Busted? Yeah, you got me. Why'd you do it? We're both guys struggling in life. Struggling? Who's struggling? I am not struggling. You always get what you want. Always. Especially all my parts. Yeah. Maybe I have talent. Talent? Talent? You call this garbage talent? Hey kid, get a load of this. Yeah? Let me see if you call this talent. Dear Madison, as painful as it is, I feel I must say goodbye. Oh. I know your last memories of us were not that pleasant to say the least. I said some really awful things. I am so sorry. That doesn't mean I forget about those beautiful things like your seamlessly endless ability to understand. Understand me, because I'm so weird, nobody else does. I took advantage of that kindness, because that's just the way I am, a mean-spirited person. Sometimes I miss you so badly that my whole world feels like a dark and lonely, like like a tunnel with freezing cold river inside. We live so close to that. I want to follow you like the stalker I am. <sighs> then you would notice me following you. you. And we would just start over again. Everything would go back to the way it was before. I realize now that it can never happen that way. You told me you had a new boyfriend. I'm happy for you. I have moved on. But the months I spent with you will forever be precious to me. Love, Brendan. It's good. Oh, Brandon's a real sentimental guy. I know why I get parts. Because I, I take the risk of showing right. my emotions on stage. Risk? Are you kidding me? Risk? I have years of acting training. The, all, all the training in the world doesn't amount to nothing if you have no soul. Brandon's right. And hey, that doesn't, that doesn't explain how you got his ex with the drive. <laughs> I'm glad you asked me that. The letter that Brandon was so stupid enough to drop on the ground had the address on it. That was all I needed. What a creep. I'm sorry I doubted you. You're the right to be worried. Excuse me here, I'm the victim. Victim? Wow. Anyway, like you said, brother, we're both disabled actors. And wrong is wrong. I thought I told you to be quiet. No, don't you tell me to be quiet. Psst. You aren't really going to show those photos to the cops now, are you? Probably. Probably.